Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you're new here. This video marks a very sad occasion um, as I will be preparing my van ready to sell it. It's going to be one of the last videos about the van and I'll be very very sad to see it go but unfortunately my circumstances, uh, I wouldn't say they've changed, I just haven't used the van as much as I would have liked to and I don't get the time to use it. I mean I've done one trip this year and I just can't justify keeping it anymore. Obviously I've made lots of YouTube videos but I think I'm getting towards the end of this project now and I've sort of covered everything that I wanted to with the van. Those videos will always be available to you uh, to help you fix your Mark 3, 4, 5 transits. So as part of the preparations for selling it, I just want to give it a bit of a tidy up bodywork wise. Um, I've done a little bit of welding on the back, I haven't recorded it because again I'm just a little bit short of time at the moment but I'd like to make this little video about it now just going over the MOT advisories so I had one advisory for the headlight reflector is deteriorated so I've managed to source a new headlight I'm going to put that on today and I'm going to do a little review of these new headlight bulbs as well the Osram night breakers I've spoken about previously so I'm going to do a before and after um, so we can see the difference and compare them and I know a few of you in the past have said if I ever come to sell the van let them know this is me letting you know now that I'm selling the van so if you're interested please get in touch uh, you can either email me at turnersworkshop97 at gmail.com I'll put a tab across the screen there or you can get in touch by Instagram at turnersworkshop97 obviously she's an old, old transit don't expect the bodywork to be pristine because she has got a few battle scars here and there. It's been wrapped to protect it all around the bottom half. The top half is painted in Rust-Oleum combi colour so it's got good rust inhibitive paint. Um, there's too much to list so please check out my channel, look at my full uh, time lapse of the van build and my van tour. I'm really really sad and I know I'll regret it but I have to keep moving forward. This isn't the end of Turner's workshop, there will still be videos about other topics for sure. Um, this is just the end of this project and moving on to other projects. So thank you so much to everybody that supports the channel and has supported the channel over the past three years. I'm absolutely astonished actually as to how many people have supported, liked the videos, shared them. So thank you so much to everybody that follows along, I really really appreciate it. You know who you are. So with that being said, let's do the last finishing touches, make sure she's ready to sell. I'll probably take her out one last time and get a few photos, maybe make one more video um, just to give you a complete tour of the finished product and then she will be on the market. Before I put this plastic headlight on the van, I just want to clean it up a little bit. There's a few light scratches on the lens and there's a bit of paint here as well. So I'm just going to use some polishing compound on a soft cloth. And I'm going to spray some water on the plastic lens and then just get some of my polishing compound and rub it in circle motions and just keep going like this until it polishes out any of the scratches. The thing is with this polishing compound it's slightly abrasive, a very very fine abrasion to it so it will clean up the lens and make it look like new and this works for sun faded headlights as well so if you've got sun damaged plastic headlights just get yourself some polishing compound give them a good clean up so in order to swap the headlight out we just need to take the smiley face off so just these two bolts here There's a bolt in each corner of the headlight and if you unhook the indicator lens you can remove that and get better access to the other two bolts. Um, we should be able to unhook the indicator. And pop the headlight out. 
to unplug the back of the headlight we just push this little metal tab in on the side light and pull the plug off that one's out of the way and then for the main headlight you can just pull the plug off the back as much as a glass headlights are better if the reflector goes in the back like this one has you can see up in this corner here all the paints come off around the headlight bulb there it's worthwhile changing it for a newer reflector it might be an option to put the glass lens on the plastic headlights reflector because obviously the reflector in this one's in much better condition so it may be a case that you can heat up around the edge remove this lens and put it in this one but for now i'm just going to put the plastic one in there and obviously i'll keep the glass lens and sell that with the van as well so it's an option for the next owner in the future i've wanted to test out these osram night breaker headlight bulbs for a while now these are h4 standard 12 volt bulbs and they fit many makes and models of car um, and they claim to be up to 200 percent brighter I've done a little before video and I will install these now and then I'll do an after video comparison so we can see whether they um, are that much brighter. First of all, I think it's worth mentioning about the packaging. They come nicely packaged in this hard protective case so they're less likely to turn up broken. And like with all halogen bulbs, it's really important not to touch the glass when you're installing them because the oils from your fingers will shorten the lifespan of the bulb. So make sure you don't touch the glass and when you're installing these H4 bulbs they only go up one way so make sure you get them around the right way and then just put them in the headlight and clip them down. Squeeze these tabs in. Let's not forget this rubber cover which goes on here. Now I can assume that the headlight positioning is set up correctly from when it was on its previous van, wherever it came from. So let's put that back in there and get our bolts back in. I briefly test the headlight on high beam, low beam, off just to make sure it's all working properly and then I install the bulb on the other side. And that's another little job ticked off the list. Before I put the bumper on, let me just show you the back end of the van so you can see what welding repairs have been done. I've welded in new metal all in here and this corner section of the van is all nice and solid now. This has been painted, I ground it back, removed all the rust and painted this tow bar section. This corner of the van has also been welded up as you can see here. And this is all underneath the bumper so you don't see it anyway, but it's nice and solid just so you know. And to finish off this video, let's do a comparison between the standard halogen headlight bulbs and the Osram Nightbreaker ones. So here we are on an unlit road and these are the standard halogen headlight bulbs on high beam and low beam. And these are the Osram Nightbreaker headlight bulbs. It's quite hard to tell from this footage. On the left hand side we have the standard halogen bulbs and on the right hand side we have the Osram Nightbreaker ones. And to be honest, there's not that much difference in it. I think the Osram Nightbreaker ones have a purer white light. And I think the beam pattern's now clearer that we've changed the headlight. But other than that, they're very, very similar. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.